الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبت في الله I want to encourage myself and my brothers and sisters to give the utmost importance to your salat because if we want to claim salafia then it begins with our ibadah it begins with our tawheed our worship and our understanding our aqidah and the highest form of worship and that which you can leave Islam with if you leave it or uh, especially if you leave it out of uh, obstinance, out of uh, arrogance and that's the prayer the Prophet ﷺ, when he was asked about Islam قال صلى الله عليه وسلم الإسلام إن تشهد إن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمد رسول الله وتقيم الصلاة and then he said he said is bear witness that there is no god worthy of worship and that Muhammad is the uh, last prophet and messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم and to establish the prayer and then he mentioned the other pillars of Islam the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم also said من ترك صلاة فقد كفر. Whoever leaves the prayer has disbelieved. And the scholars they differ over this disbelief. Does it mean he has left the fold of Islam, or is it the threat of disbelief, meaning the minor disbelief, meaning a major sin, but minor disbelief? So the scholars differ over this, but the adilla is very strong in that the person who abandons the prayer has abandoned Islam. So at best, a person who does this is in a serious and dangerous situation. And I just want to mention very quickly this beautiful statement from our Sheikh, Sheikh Abdul Razak Ibn Abdul Mahsan Al-Abbad Al-Badr, Hafidullah Ta'ala, uh, one of our scholars in Medina, and this is his book, Ta'adhim al-Salat. Just this ibadah. We just want to be very short and beneficial. He said, فَلَا يَسْتَقِيمْ دِينُ الْمُسْلَمْ وَلَا تَسْلَى عَمَالَهُ وَلَا يَعْتَدِلُ سُلُوكُهُ فِي شُون دِينِهِ وَدُنْيَاهُ حَتَّى يُقِيمُ هَذِهِ الصَّلَاةِ عَلَى وَجْهِهَا الْمَشْرُوعِ عَقِيدَةً وعبادة متأسيا برسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. So Sheikh Abd Razak he said that the the religion of the Muslim will not be become straight. You know, be strong in its its foundation and be straight. Nor will his deeds be good or rectified nor will his manners be just or 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 be will he have good manners good saluk you know good righteous manners in his affairs in in the religion and and in this life uh, and in this life the worldly life until he establishes the prayer or this prayer in its legislated way aqidatin you know in with regards to his aqidah in his belief ibadatin and regards to his ibadah his worship Muta'assiyan bi Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the way that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam performed the prayer. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those with ilm al nafi or ruskin tayyibu wa amal al and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with a prayer that He is pleased with, worshipping Him with the correct tawheed, tawheed. Uh, a, a 
al-rububiyya wa tawheed al-uluhiyya wa tawheed al-asma'i wa sifat. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas wa, wa iman wa, wa sunnah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Muslims everywhere, especially our brothers and sisters in Burma, in Myanmar, where they're being oppressed. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove their oppressors and remove the oppressors of the Palestinians and the oppressors of the Muslims. Ahli Iman, Ahli Iman, wherever they may be. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.